Angelica Hamar is a rising star with a unique story. A childhood struggle with dyslexia damaged her confidence, but her talent on the golf course shone through, and she's now aiming to make her name on the ladies' European tour with the help of sports psychologist Dr. Stephen Simpson. So, Angelica, you've taken on a mind coach over the last couple of years, Steve. Tell us about the work that he's been doing with you. I have dyslexia. Uh, and I had struggling a lot in school with that and felt like I was uh, not a good student and all those kind of thoughts. And Stephen basically uh, turned those feelings into positive feeling that it's, it's good to have this dyslexia thing. And um, it made me more positive about it. And actually it made me also uh, play better golf because it made me play with my imagination and that makes me feel that the practice is much more fun and, and it should be fun. Angelica started working with Dr. Simpson three years ago and made it through Q School at the end of 2014. Her first season on the Ladies European Tour hasn't been entirely smooth but her progression remains on a steady path. As we all know, golf is such a psychological game. Is there anything that you can particularly pinpoint that has made the main difference in her game? I would say um, keeping a neutral emotional state, you know, not getting too excited when the birdie putts drop and not beating yourself up when things don't go your way, and, and, and patience. It takes a few years to get used to this, the tour circus. And so I've just seen steady progress year after year. In terms of scoring, her best result was at Q School um, last December, because I think that is something like seven or nine rounds of golf, incredible pressure, do you get your card or not? And her last three rounds were all under 70. So she really held it together. And that again is, is her focus, that you know, she, can, she can switch on. Ahead of this year's Turkish Open, Angelica began working with experienced caddy Ian Wright, who won several titles working with Seve Ballesteros, including the Open Championship in 1988. But the Englishman is equally enthusiastic about helping Angelica realise her potential. Ian, you've worked across so many different tours with so many different players, including the great Seve. So what have you found your main influence into her game to be so far? Mainly giving her confidence, I like to think she's got somebody who's experienced there and she knows she can rely on me and trust me. And trust, I think, is the key. You've got to have a relationship where the player caddy trust each other. And if I say something, I'm saying it for a reason and I try and explain why I'm saying it. And hopefully it works. Is it possible to predict the potential that she may have yet? In some ways, yes. When she's firing, she's got pretty good length. She's not what I call a short hitter. She's, let's say, three quarters, 75 percent up the field that hit striking of the ball. And her iron, long iron player, she usually strikes those exceptionally well. So, yeah, I would say she's got the potential to go on and succeed on the ladies' tour. Well, we've spoken to Steve, her mind coach. What are your thoughts on the work that he's been doing with her? It's interesting because I work Obviously, caddies have to be part mentor, psychologist, everything, haven't we? And part of my side of it is the psychology side as well. You've got to keep them relaxed on the course and, you know, do all these little bits as well. So hearing him confirm, in some ways, a lot of what I've been doing and saying, and also getting some extra feedback from him on what I could probably do as well to help her, is good because then it enhances you as a caddy as well. And have you seen some great results from his work so far? Um, we've seen a few changes, yes. Um, we saw a lot more confidence uh, in Amsterdam. Admittedly, we didn't make the cut, yeah, but OK. But the improvements were there and also it's running through the game. Um, I've also been trying to help with the putting and that seems to have improved tremendous. And so hoping that now everything feeds back and with Steve working on the mental side of things to keep her in her uh, mind in the correct place at the right time, then hopefully she'll go on and I'm hoping this week could be the start. The <laughs> future looks bright. Way. Let's hope to a yeah. great partnership. Angelica is yet to hit top form this year, but with her team in harmony, it surely won't be long until her name begins to rise up the leaderboard. How important is the whole team coming together in her performance? The whole team is critical. Now this I think is where 
Angelica has shown a lot of maturity. She describes herself as the boss of her own company and she handpicks the team and if she, you know, and she hires and fires basically and I'm quite certain, you know, she's ruthless. But she's, she, you know, she's got um, Sophia who's an ex-tour player um, that she can talk a lot to. She has a nutritionist, she has a physical coaching person, she has a technical coach, Lars. Now Ian's joined the team and, you know, yeah, the sum of the parts is, is greater than the whole. I think uh, it's, a, it's a team effort. I think it's very important to have a team around you, especially when you have your lows, uh, because uh, then you know which people uh, who really support you. When you play good, I mean, everybody would like to be around you, uh, but uh, my team is supporting me when my, my, my low um, level of the game is coming, uh, and that feels very satisfied to have that kind of support. And so for you this year, your first full season on the Ladies European Tour, what, what are you hoping to achieve this year? What's your main goal? Hmm, my main goal was to continue to have the card for next season. My mind is absolutely on the um, top places. Is it possible to have an end goal or kind of the ultimate achievement? Yeah, I, I'm a bit careful with goals, but I think we all need one overarching goal in life, whatever it might be, because it provides um, stability in the storm. And uh, I think Angelica's overarching goal is just to really enjoy being a tour player. I really think it's as simple as that. Every single day she comes to the course, it's always utmost in her mind. She feels privileged to be here, and genuinely privileged. Well, I'm sure the work that you're doing with her is fantastic and we look forward to seeing what's to come.